Hi, welcome to Barmy Army Fan Cams after a 1-0 loss away at Everton in the Conti Cup, which wraps up our Conti Cup campaign for this year. Not the most exciting of matches and certainly not the best result. I'm joined this evening by Shane, Matt and Jake. Jake, you were getting a little bit fired up during that match. Your thoughts on it, please. Yeah, uh, I'm usually the one who tries to look positive, who tries to, you know, defend players when things go wrong. But um, yeah, tonight I was a bit, I was very harsh. I was very critical <laughs> and there's no denying that. I was fuming. Um, it, it just, you know, we, we, we talk about sometimes my reaction to the Liverpool game and how rubbish we were back then. But I know this means nothing now. I know it was a game that the players weren't up for whatsoever. But, you know, there was fans, there was us watching it tonight who would have wanted a performance. It doesn't bother me the results so much. It's the performance and the fact that no, none of them really put 100% in tonight. Not not one, not even a single player put 100% in. We were creating chances, we were going forward, but then when it came to shooting, we didn't. it's like we didn't want to shoot at the goal. Uh, with Katie Zellen forced McIver into a save and that's about as good as it got. Millie Turner had a few chances in the first half, which I think she should have buried, but apart from that, it was slow. And we're a better team than Everton, which annoys me. Personnel-wise, we're a better team. And, um, yeah, we, we've lost. Look, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but I'm annoyed. It just didn't feel like watching United. It felt like watching a team of imposters, in a way, like like stunt doubles, in a way. It was, um, yeah, it was just, just not a good night at all. No, um, Shane, it's been a match that we knew for a while had nothing riding on it. It's obviously also a match that has been delayed. It should have been played earlier in the night, but it also should have been played earlier, slightly earlier in the season. Um, were we watching a match there today that the players just couldn't get themselves up for? It looks that way. Um, I don't particularly like it, you know, Everton, as, as we said before, we haven't lost to them until now. We usually score three goals every game against them until now. So it, it's disappointing. I mean, yeah, right. It, it was a dead rubber for us and there's nothing riding on it other than maybe a bit of pride or, or just form, if anything. But yeah, I, I can never be happy with what was on there. I don't think. I mean, first off, my boot wasn't that bad. We just didn't do anything of any note. Um, but I don't think anybody did anything of any note in the first half. And then the second half, of course, there's a couple of disallowed goals, you know, one either side. And, and then the Everton goal, which was poorly defended. Uh, if there was an indication of, of that being dead rubber defending tonight, it was that Everton goal because that it was, yeah. Might as well not have had a defence for that goal, if it really, for being honest. Shane, I'm going to hold on to the theory that we've always scored three goals when there's been fans there. So no record's gone tonight. It still exists. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Matt, what we, we... We are all disappointed, and certainly the watch-along, there was a lot of disappointment in it. If you had to pick one particular area that disappointed you more than any other, what, what, would, what would you say that is right now? I think this performance tonight was kind of summed up our Conti Cup campaign as a whole. You know, we were very poor against Liverpool, weren't great against City and were very poor again tonight. I think the thing that disappoints me most, to be brutally honest, is ever since, you know, football's come back over the last few months and it's been behind closed doors, you hear time and time again players talked about how they want to put on a performance for the fans back home. So even though fans couldn't be there, you know, they still want to at least, you know, put on a performance so that even though they're watching at home, they can still get something positive. And whilst we've seen that to a certain extent in the league, you know, that just hasn't happened at all in the Conti. And, when you look at the teams we've played, you know, Liverpool, massive rivalry. City, obviously, it's a derby, and I've said. And Everton, OK, it's not a derby or anything like that. But, you know, with the Willie Kirk connection and everything, there's obviously a, a little bit of niggle there, it's fair to say. So, you know, games against each of those three opponents mean something, or at least they should mean something. 
but we just haven't performed in any of those three games at all. Yeah, um, certainly as a, as a cup campaign, uh, because of the group stage, it, it's been far from positive. And it's also been a real shift from how we've been in the league, um, which I think has thrown us all really as fans. Jake, some players tonight, not players who've had regular minutes. We did also see the debut of Ivana Fuso. What did you make of her? Um, I don't think she had, she had enough time to get in, into the game. Uh, she's one player who I will try to defend tonight because um, obviously she's been thrown thrown straight in um, in a performance that the team hadn't done well. And it was like, right, Ivana, can you be the hero? Can you score for us? Uh, she did have the one chance that she thought was scuffed and it was an easy save in the end. But yeah, uh, she needs more game time. She needs more more of a natural game because as I say it just didn't feel like a normal game whatsoever tonight so yeah um, the best is yet to come from Ivana I like to think uh, there's the more chances in the future for her um, especially with the way our attack played tonight but um, yeah maybe even see her on Sunday but um, yeah as I say I think the best is yet to come from Ivana and uh, based on how a lot of the team played tonight she won't have any trouble getting in the team again <laughs> Well, that's going to bring me on to my next point, actually. Thank you. you you've, you've helped me to kind of segue to Shane to say injuries. We are lacking a lot of our strikers. We've probably got five who will play in that position. We're down to two, maybe, and Jess isn't fully fit. We've taken out LJ, Press and Russo. Did the injuries, and not just to the strikers, but did some of the injuries that we're holding at the moment, did they show themselves tonight? Good point, maybe. Um, I mean, we know Jess was obviously injured at the start of the season, so missed games, came back briefly and was then injured again. LJ seems to be on her third stint of injury already. Um, I think there was obviously one carry carried over from the end of last season, um, featured, I think, in the game against Chelsea at the start, maybe, or quite early on, um, and then disappeared for a few games again. Uh, and then was back for one or two and then is injured again. So uh, whether they're all continuations of the same thing or, or whether they're all fresh, I'm not sure. But it, it's obviously, you know, as it goes on for longer, it's going to have a, an effect because you lose your ability to then rotate as much and, and rest people when they need resting, maybe. I mean, in some ways, I was a bit surprised to see Leah starting tonight. I thought Leah might have been one of the ones that was rested you know, with weekend game in mind, um, and Jackie as well. I know that's not a striker position, I know it's midfield, but if anyone was probably deserving of a rest, it's her. Um, so, surprised to see her starting you know, and indeed play as long as she did. I thought maybe before the game, you know, if we were going to do what we usually do and get a couple of goals in the first half, Jackie might go off at half time and, you know, that one would be put to bed, but clearly wasn't the case tonight. Um, before I come to everybody's favourite question, certainly it's going to be a popular one tonight. Matt, um, any positives we can take from tonight? <laughs> I don't think there are, in all honesty. Okay. I think it was just all round a, a very bad night. I mean, we all kind of half jokingly commented uh, just before full time up to. Um, you know, Casey, and that she looked like she was ready to tear into the players. And I think, again, to be brutally honest, uncharacteristically for me, I think it would be fully deserved. OK. Last question of the evening for you, gentlemen. One name. Player of the match. <coughs> Jake. Um... Based on how much I was ranting about her in the watch along uh, Jets. Okay. Shane? I think, which is probably one of the few that didn't put that much of a foot wrong in the grand scheme of things, and she played the full 90 or 96 as it turned out. I'm going to go with Katie. Okay. Matt? Yeah, for pretty much the same reasons as Shane, and for the fact that she was one of the few players that actually forced a decent save out of Sandy McIver. I'll go with Katie Zellum. Okay. Well, the balance of this, Katie wins it. Thank you very much for joining me this evening, gentlemen. Um, no idea if we're going to be back like this on Sunday. 
Maybe they'll make a decision tomorrow. Um, more than likely, we will be doing fan cams like this uh, on Sunday against Bristol. So I hope you can join us then. Cheers for tonight. Bye-bye.